Let's face it, Sora has seen many downfalls over the course of these last few games, but Today, we're gonna analyze the first one, and we're gonna analyze the how and the why behind his first downfall. Now, let's take things back to this scene right here, where we first know that Riku can even use a Keyblade. And if you notice, unlike Leon, when the Keyblade completely disappeared from his hand and went right back to Sora, in this right here situation, Riku simply takes the Keyblade, he gave it back to Sora, but the Keyblade didn't despawn from his hand and go back to Sora on its own. On your first playthrough, this may seem completely irrelevant, and you probably didn't even notice it, but how does this tie into the story later? Well, up until this point, Sora was confident. He was a guy on a mission, he was on a mission to find his friends, and he was confident he would do this. Now, if we fast forward to Hollow Bastion, more specifically this scene right here, where Riku takes the Keyblade from Sora for a short period of time, this is Sora's first real downfall, and one of the biggest in my opinion. But how did Riku manage to take it from Sora? Well, the Keyblade chooses the one who is of stronger will at the time, and in this instance, Sora was nowhere near as confident as he was during that scene back in Traverse Town. What I think may have messed up his confidence a bit was his first encounter with Riku back in Traverse Town, and the second one, which was I think a lot bigger when he saw the state Kyrie was in back in Neverland. Also, one thing you gotta remember, in this situation that Sora was in, not only was Kyrie in a pretty bad state, but Sora was already well aware of Riku turning on him and betraying. And at this point, when we get to Hollow Bastion, Sora is still determined to go on, but he's not as confident, nowhere near as confident as he was before. And this is why Riku briefly got hold of the Keyblade. But what about when Sora gets it back? Well, here Sora got his confidence back with the help of Beast and also from the fact that Donald and Goofy went back to him even after he seemed hopeless and you gotta remember Donald and Goofy still weren't as good friends with Sora as they are in Cage 2 and Cage 3. They still have their mission, they still have to follow the guy who has the Keyblade but this is the time where they go against the King's orders because they already became such good friends with Sora and thanks to this Sora regains all of his lost confidence. This ultimately led to the Keyblade going back to him. Also it didn't go in Riku's favor that he was so up his own ass in this scene. <laughs> That's what you get you ungrateful selfish piece of shit. If you didn't know by now, I fucking hate Cage one Riku. And that concludes this little lore video. What do you guys think about this topic? If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Until the next video or stream, thank you so much for watching, and bye bye